How are you feeling right now? I feel very good. Anything else? Whoa. Sterkere sammen. Sterkere sammen. Liker du Erling bilde mitt? In Norwegian that means do you like my drawing of Erling the penguin? What an absolute mad lad, dude. I gotta get this framed. Is stir strumming just a Swedish thing or is it a Norwegian thing as well? What's up, boys, and welcome to the Player of the Month Erling Braut Holland Episodia. That is right. We're taking a look at the 90 rated card, which is plus two over his 88 team of the tournament card, which gets a near plus 70 total in game stat upgrade and has turned into a card for those of us that run Bundesliga squads. We really, really have to consider doing, especially given the 315,000 coin price point, which, if we compare it to last year, I believe his first Player of the Month card was like, I don't know, it was like six, seven hundred thousand coins. It might have even been more. Um, and we get ourselves a 90 Erling Haaland, which is exactly almost double the price of the team of the tournament uh, that gets some really, really nice stat upgrades, namely plus three in a very, very important stat that I absolutely need on all of my players, uh, regardless of position. But today, boys, we are gathered here, like I said, for a player of the month, 90 Erling Braut Haaland Episodia. Smash like on the video. Smash like on the video if you knew that Erling was a big fan of the channel back in the day in FIFA 15. Smash like on the video if you knew that his first ever tweet was him and his friends sipping McCafes at a Starbucks or wherever the hell they were. And I am taking partial, yeah, maybe, I don't know, like I, his agent probably takes something like 20%. I think I may, maybe 0.002% of the proceeds or something like that. I feel like maybe I'm entitled to that because I think if I'm if I'm speaking facts and if I'm thinking logically, surely, like, you know, the combination of what's in the McCafe from the sugar was motivating him to practice better at school. Like, without me, who knows if Erlen gets to where he is? So if you guys do enjoy the episode, is smash like. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. So let's just dive right into it. You get three star, three star, high, high, left footed. Nothing has changed there. And again, one of the reasons that someone might not want to spend 300, you know, upwards of 300,000 coins on an SPC is the fact that he does have three star, three star with the, uh, you know, with the, with the, was it the summer no future stars promo last year? We got ourselves an airling with four star weak foot, and then the team of the year also had a four star weak foot. Team of the season card also had a four star week, but uh, alas, that is not to be uh, that is not to be here. So, like I said, 68 total in game stat upgrade, 86 acceleration, 94 sprint speed. N already has 93 attacking positioning. Already has 94 finishing, has 99 shot power, and then already has 93 composure. Now, the reason that I'm putting a finisher on him is because you guys know I love myself a cheeky body faint. Now, with the engine. Sure, he goes up, his sprint speed goes up plus 5, and the acceleration goes up over 90. But the agility goes up to 89. Here, it goes up to 94. With the engine chem style, the dribbling goes up, what is it, plus 5? Dribbling here goes up to 99. I kind of want a 94 agility, 99 dribbling airling and see how that plays in game. 84 stamina, 97 strength, um, and doesn't have obviously any traits to speak of. That's what we know about his card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap airling and uh, and uh, Lewandowski, the, the, the Dortmund player of the month, and then the previous player of the month, uh, none other than Robert Lewandowski. Uh, and then we're going to run with Thorgan Hazard, his Dortmund teammate, and we're going to have Kimmich, and then we're going to have Bailey, and then we're going to have Schnellerabi, who are currently up 1-0 against Bayern, courtesy of an absolute screamer volley from Schick. Some would say that that was a pretty Schick goal. Let's see if he's got something magical in his card. Let's see if he's got something that might be worth doing. Okay, I'm getting him. I'm getting him on the RTG. And I'm putting a finisher on him. Ahí se lleva la bocha tranquilo. Bela Rabi. Tigo you. Mad. I literally just body fainted the wrong way. And then there's Lewandowski. Delaney. I say it every time we use him. He's the, uh, he's the, if you're looking for, if you're looking for a cheap clusterman, if you're looking for the, if you're looking for the Tesco clusterman, you can't, you could go a whole, you could do a whole lot worse than a freaking, uh, do a whole lot worse than Delaney. For 6 4 2? Sigue marcando la pelota pegadita al pie. 
Frenkie de Jong. Si la clava está a uno. ¡Gol! Erling Braut Haaland. That's the power of Robert Lewandowski, my friends. 3-1. Robert Lewandowski goes ahead. Dabs it up with his boy Erling Haaland. The dual player of the month winners. And I think an Adama Traore has just come out. A left back Adama Traore with, 90, with 98 pace has just come out, dude. To be fair, the Premier League needed a left back. But I think you're probably going to have to pay the Premier League tax as well. I think it requires an 86 rated and an 84 rated squad, if I'm not mistaken. Robert Lewandowski. Ahí va, habilitado para definir. Gran servicio. You look at a set of player stats and you can kind of get a feel for the card pretty quickly. And I can tell you that his, um, his dribbling, at least with the finisher, I can only speak for the finisher. Again, I think he's got enough, I think he's got enough sprint speed for the position, right? I mean, 94 sprint speed is better than most. The only thing that you can make an argument is the acceleration. And there it is. There's, there's a little bit of the... And that's Sergio, Sergio Ramos. Is an, Sergio Ramos is an absolute god. He's just got all his players in the box. It doesn't matter, though. We're just throwing everything that we have at him, dude. That right there is peak. That I mean, like unlucky, unlucky deflection. But to be fair, we should have been. A, we, we should have scored that with um, with a, with Erling. Robert Lewandowski goes ahead and he gets himself the Hattie. We scored what was that four goals? So the uh, the ex player, the previous player of the month, went ahead and he absolutely popped off. Erling got himself a goal, uh, provided himself an assist as well. But uh, if you want peak Erling Holland and seeing what's capable with his, uh, seeing what's possible with his card, look no further than this one right here. Okay, ready? One body faint. Two body feints, three body feints, and the third body feint probably wasn't even necessary. This was just getting around his keeper. If it was Sergio Ramos, I don't know if he would have done it. Sergio Ramos is just an innocent bystander, and you get inside the box with that left foot. That's what that's what 90 plus finishing, that's what 90 plus composure is gonna get you on the card. Absolute psycho. <laughs> see, see how he's able to turn around that quickly? The dribbling, mad. On? I think he's off. Is that off? Yeah, it's off. Okay, look, it's a it's a nuts card. It's it's a real. <laughs> he obliterates the fabric of space and time in order to get through a defender, if he wants. Unless that defender's named Rafa Varane, and then or Klosterman. Messi. He moves like he kind of. This one drops. It's he kind of moves like Messi. Er Erling, have you been going to the Messi summer camp? Like what? Yikes, bro. What a finish. What is this game? What is this game sometimes, man? Bro, that was such a sus goal. Even Erling's first goal, I think, was a little bit sus, the way he was able to, like, fly through. Let's see if we have a game winner in us, boys. Forget 
And that's... That's the difference. That's why someone might not want to splash the 300,000 coins. As you guys saw, I mean, that was... That was his right foot. He doesn't have a four-star weak foot. And it, that that's what that looked like. That's exactly what that looked like. And is that the game? It might be. This one drops Unless, unless he comes back at the 85th and he absolutely pops one. Come on, boys. Things you absolutely love to see. Erling Holland scoring in the 86th. Goes ahead and absolutely redeems himself. What an absolute psychomaniac he is. Yeah, perfect. Couldn't have ended it on a better note. Two Dortmund players stepping up in, an abs in the absolute biggest way. Two goals from Erling Haaland, 9.2. Uh, doesn't provide himself an assist. Lewandowski doesn't get a goal. Who was it? Ah, it was Thorgan Hazard. It was the trash goal. Uh, 17 out of 20 dribbles completed uh, for Hazard, and then 25 out of 30, uh, 36. 22 out of 22 dribbles completed for Robert Lewandowski. His Joe Gomez just was not up to the task for covering the absolute beast that is Erling Haaland. I'm not going to lie. Usually, you, usually I do like another body faint to put myself in the right position, but with the left foot and then the finishing and, and composure stats he has, there's not a question about it. He's making that. Not even a question about it. He is making that 100%. Let's go ahead and give this thing this way view. Um, in terms of value, I'm gonna go so far as to say it. I know it's, you know, it's over a quarter of a million coins. It's about 330, 300, uh, 325, 330,000 coins. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna give this a four out of five in terms of value. I think, you know, given what the prices were last year, I think a lot of people, you know, given that it is Erling, I think a lot of people were expecting it to be in the uh, in the neighborhood of maybe, you know, 500, maybe even maybe even 600,000 coins. But the fact that it came in under, well under 400,000 coins and just over 300,000 coins, I think is very, very solid indeed. In terms of on the pitch performance, uh, I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say this. The weak foot isn't as big of a deal as it seems, even though it looked like in that match, that was the, yeah, right, that was the difference maker right there. I just don't think that the weak foot is, uh, I think the other stats, the pace, the agility, the strength, uh, the shooting, the composure, all that stuff, I think that outweighs the negative of the weak foot. And so for that reason, I'm gonna give it a four out of five in terms of on the pitch performance as well. It was very close to giving it a three and a half out, uh, three and a half out of five just because of the weak foot. But uh, my value judgment is that I think that the uh, you can overcome the weak foot and we're gonna test him through 30 games of weekend league. This episode has uh, convinced me to do the SPC on the RTG, which we'll be completing. I'm uh, gonna stream a little bit earlier today. So if you guys wanna pop on over, I'll be streaming about 10 to 15 games of weekend league if you guys wanna catch me there. So, stärkere Salmon which means stronger together. Things you absolutely love to see. But that's going to do it for the episode here, boys. Smash like if you guys did enjoy. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Like I said, we're going to be streaming uh, some Weekend League later. Uh, we're going to be streaming some Weekend League tonight um, uh, early in the afternoon. And then I am hanging out with uh, Zwebe for uh, for the night. We're going to watch a movie and uh, just hang out. But uh, that's going to do it for the episode here. Catch you guys for another one tomorrow. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.